good morning everybody at the outset i thank uh, organizing team of the alto particularly dr nitish jain who started this alto few years back and uh, during these tough times when we cannot move out of the house they have arranged this with the team work my topic is complications and management of rirs you know already three speakers have spoken rirs it's introduced uh, actively from 1990 and now you are using in most of the stones less than 2 cm there are various types of classifications obviously scientific classifications only help in writing the papers but i am giving individual case based complications with my experience after doing around 4000 to 5000 cases but for the sake of introduction modified satava classification oliver traxer classification and of course clevin dindo classification will be there for every surgery so intraoperative complications by satava classification is like this if you see these complications a lot of us will be worried that even minimal bleeding is grade 1 complication inability to reach the stone is also a complication but certain complications are very severe from grade to a what are they mucosal injury and then converting into pcnl is also a complication and other complications like grade 3 which always we are worried ureteral perforation ureteral intussusception avulsion like that severe bleeding comes in grade 2b that is not common similarly oliver traxer also has given simple classification he is mainly concentrating on the ureter not entire rirs mucosa then smooth muscle injury without only mucosal lesion 1 ureteral wall injury 2 then ureteral wall injury including mucosa on smooth muscle with adventitial perforation only perforation 3 and total ureteral avulsion now this modified uh, clavin classification is simple like anything raised creatinine hematuria blood transfusion urine infection urinoma which is not much useful like this now let me show this first uh, axis sheet injury there are various complications i am more focusing on the surgery where we do these are the simple injuries where if you see mucosa is gone this happens when you don't assess the ureter uh, before when it happens today actually i have to tell the management also put the stent for a long time long time is how much 3 weeks to 4 weeks after that it's of no use next is what follow up with what ultrasound scan abdomen how often 2 months to 3 months how many years one year if there is no ultrasound hydronephrosis for one year you are through one or two times you call the patient and do the ultrasound that's all this is another type of the ureteral accession theory little severe how do you know the severity if color is red better if color is pale after two weeks that means is going to fibros so you have to be more meticulous all cases where ureteric this is another injury where you see is again superficial injury but sometimes you see the muscle also to my fortune i have not seen avulsion and complete perforation so i am not able to show that video and this is the uh, another ureteric injury which a laser if you use uh, in the whether with flexible scope or with uh, ureteroscope this is a dreadful complication so what is this complication see when you are using the laser laser fiber is more outside and you are touching the guide wire you are touching the stone you are touching the ureteral wall what not you touched everywhere but when you see this nicely you have removed fragments but when you go after 3 weeks when patient got fever this is classical picture like stricture urethra where you see a fibrosed pale without any capillaries that means it is very difficult to manage i managed this patient forcibly dilating and then put stent and continuously hydronephrosis is there and kidney function is losing repairing an upper ureteral stricture is difficult sometimes equal to nephrectomy so don't damage push back this stone and do rirs don't do in situ with especially high frequency high energy don't use laser at the level of the uh, upper ureter where wall is thin and it can easily fibrose this is another uh, injury where 
laser is used inside the ureter for one hour, two hours. Which laser don't ask. After two weeks when you go inside, this type of uh, picture is seen. Entire ureter is gone. So when you use the laser, for this patient, what is the option? Only boyari flap or intestine replacement. In our case, we have done boyari flap up to the upper end pelvis. This is at the end of the flap. Unfortunately, patient is doing well now. So when you are having ureter wall where stone is impacted, keep the laser fiber very close. Don't use high energy, high frequency. If it's possible, push back. If you are not at all comfortable, do PCNL and anti-grade. You remove it is very easy. If you push back, RIRS is good if the ureter is very good. So ureteric wall assessment, laser not contacting the stone and the wall. These are the two most important as far as the ureteric injury is concerned. This is one more ureteric injury where this is a common scenario. Upper ureteric stone impacted and uh, then uh, uh, you see uh, you have gone inside and this is the video you see live video where you went inside it is a very difficult for anybody who can do ultrasound pcnl they will do easy pcnl but if you want to try too much from below again and again poking trying this is post stented i must tell you post stented see in such cases what happens uh, when you go inside everything looks easy but at the level of the stone impaction uh, the, at the level of the stone impaction, uh, you see here, at the level of the stone impaction, you pass, try to pass the guide wire, it doesn't go. Terumu guide wire, Jibra guide wire, uh, other guide wires, nothing will go. I tried with flexible ultroscope, thinking that that uh, kink uh, can, I can bypass. See how, how slowly what you do, you will have slightly over confidence when the guide wire is there and then you push the flexible scope. Even I pushed all these complications I have done. So I am not taking any other person's complications. So when I try to push, uh, then uh, slightly you, you get a little giveaway feeling. You should never get in urology in ureter, giveaway feeling. Something with going into a um, uh, negative space. That means you are perforated. See, I have gone like this with difficulty. See, uh, immediately do RGP. Next step, document with RGP and immediately um, uh, try to come out don't try to meddle with uh, flush water flush water like that you all your 90 percent of flush water will go outside the ureter and small uh, uh, perinephric collection periuretary collection will form immediately what you have to do put a stent or do pcl if you are confident ultrasound guided so upper uteric stone impact see here some amount of contrast was there luckily on that and you go inside uh, one must be very good in pcl when you are doing RIRS also. Both are complementary. You can never say that uh, I never require PCNL, I don't do PCNL like that. It is not at all correct. These, these are the cases where uh, at the end you went from above. That time also it was difficult. That time also it was difficult. These are the situations where both the sides stone gets impacted. Sometimes if you don't know anything, do open ureter lithotomy. Very good. Cut on the stone, laparoscopic ureter lithotomy. Very good. See, now I am in the PCNL also, guide wire is not going easily. Ultimately, I could remove it from the PCNL. During PCNL also, these are, these are all things to be documented because, see, this is a stone, which was after the uh, kinked area is opened up, the stone is in. After that, it is easy. And one more point here, whether stone caused stricture or you caused stricture, only answer for that is have a CT scan, have a DTPS scan, have RGP before doing the procedure, have the entire video with you. Then you will be comfortable that you have not damaged. Unless you have damaged, don't show the video. You keep with yourself. Now, this is over. The, the, the surgery is over and uh, ultimately the stent is passed and proper placement of the stent is very important. You have to put it in some calyx, you have to put it in the bladder because it should not fall. Some amount of rest will open the mucosa and then it helps. That's fine. Now coming to the renal mucosal injuries. Normally see here, you are talking somewhere and you perforate with laser fiber. Don't keep the laser fiber outside and keep uh, uh, the machine on and uh, left and right you go inside talking to others. Then slowly after some time if you see that area will be bleeding and slowly that bleeder will become a small, small, small big bleeder. 
so then this happens at the infundibulum i many of these uh, some of the videos uh, some of the uh, urologists might have seen from my side but uh, because a lot of people are watching now if you if you see in the infundibular region this is a white type of stone which was uh, uh, which was going um, uh, where uh, large stone you are in hurry what happens in rirs first you do nicely you do painting nicely for 10 minutes after that you lose the interest uh, you want to break it fast 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 in the upper calyx i also did the same 5 years back in this case big stone hard stone uh, high uh, laser was there with me i was making powder this is all like uh, regular entry there is no uh, i am going here see this is a this is a big stone see never assess the stone on ct ct looks our eyes uh, is the big deceiving factor you see only one cut ct and go i don't know how much centimeter they have taken in between the cuts sometimes ct 2 cm can look like 2 mm we very very dangerous in this case i um, even pcl is difficult see i am doing nicely in the beginning vision is very good nicely portraying after sometimes what happens you try to increase the energy at the level of the infundibulum don't try to increase the energy push more inside calyx if you push inside calyx what maximum you can touch the mucosa as well as the papilla in in pcnl one papilla full is gone if you dilate 30 french but in rirs one papilla you cannot completely eat away maximum you touch but here while doing slowly bleeding started see now i have gone into popcorn early if you go popcorn early you will get more frustrated whether it is breaking or not you will, you will not have vision you are where it is touching you don't know x ray nicely it is getting fragmented but when i came out see the blood why such amount of blood should come that means you have perf perforated and poked somewhere the vessel major vessel don't keep on seeing like this take it out if you keep on seeing like that or washing continuously blood will wash away five liters also will wash away then what will you do hypotension will come take it out put a stent or guide wire access because sometimes access is important clots will form the stent will aid in uh, drainage of the urine and then immediately see i put a 3 by 4 lis catheter and uh, this is the way the clots are formed and they are coming out then the moment these small flocules you see na you are happy because patient clotting system is on that means you are saved so i can't uh, cut the uh, with laser fiber the infant blur vessel i might have made a hole which is 200 micrometer sometimes it bleeds and the pressure forms so everybody here i press the kidney also out of frustration because if it continuously bleed you cannot do angio also it's very difficult peripheral region angio leak so you try all measures but only thing is that irrigation stenting blood arrangement prepare for angioembolization if nothing goes well happily go home and sleep now calicial rupture with scope i you sometimes flexible scope you think that it is too flexible like a guide wire it won't be flexible scope tip is very hard see here i have gone without uh, talking somewhere i have gone inside directly upper calyx perforated and if you do rgp so any doubt do rgp any doubt anywhere in the system do rgp once you see something outside stop the procedure main problem is at 40 to 400 mm of fg water will go outside digestant and come out now this is a case where uh, difficult position is there uh, um, baby uh, post uh, uh, pcnl failed then now inferior calyx bifid system i was touching here and there i thought i will inject the rgp because multiple times i perforated see this is a small perforation by the time the contrast has gone nicely leaking this type of uh, leak in uh, pcnl may be common and we don't take it seriously because we put pcn and everything will be drained but in rirs that is not there outside is outside inside is inside inside uh, urine goes uh, outside outside uh, urine cannot go anywhere it can get infected it can get hematoma so you have to be careful uh, next day ultrasound if you have doubt do it what if you do if you have hematoma large hematoma you have to drain small hematoma wait first one or two days don't put knife on it it is very difficult because inflammation will be there let it contain give a higher antibiotics and wait for some time 90 percent of the hematomas resolve but don't attempt the rirs within two weeks again going and opening the same hole and again making, making hematoma is not at all advisable now coming to the bon functioning instrument you you, you think that uh, nicely i basket i keep in the upper calyx underestimated because of the ct film 
then basket is not coming sir what we should do basket if it is not coming all foreign baskets i mean not indian made they cannot be detached first you have to cut the basket and take out the outer sheath then you go by the side of it and try like this but it is difficult why it is difficult if somebody holds you one leg the way you walk is very difficult it is like entire ureter is holding uh, entire ureter is holding so we we have to continuously um, um, go by the side of the guide wire and do it very difficult so i have done pcnl and removed it so pcnl should be good whenever complication and when i am removing this basket it is getting unlooped it's a compressed wire so you should be careful when we are taking it out for example if you see here it is broken with the laser fiber and see compressed wire is unlooping and kilometers has come so ultimately x ray also you cannot see very easily so you should know anti gradely uh, uh, retrogradely from below you pass a flexible ultrascope from above flexible nephroscope or ureteroscope see everything you have removed because small nidus of guide wires can cause foreign body formation this is all wire which is extended now coming to the broken scope fortunately this is uh, done uh, during demonstration of a flexible uh, disposable scope very difficult case post pilot lithotomy they all came with a lot of enthusiasm i also has lot of enthusiasm it is like a s shaped bend we were so happy that this scope is uh, uh, going nicely see this is post pilot lithotomy upper calyx if you see plain x ray you think that straight will go but how, how many curvatures are there inside we don't know we have to pass all the curvatures you went inside the advantage of uh, disposable scope is it looks very big happily you can do powdering but how far with stretched position extended position elbow extended your body flexed too many awkward positions i realized after some time that i am i will show that i am not able to do anything that means you what you want in your brain is happening so far suddenly now it is not happening just same vision is there then it is broken if you have broken don't try too much hard simply carefully take it out because broken piece if you want to take out you have to do pcnl then again doing pcnl upper pole in this time already was broken broke but broken the scope it is not mine that time i was not under tension but if it is yours uh, especially flexible scope directly you will be under lot of tension again doing pcnl removing the piece is difficult there are case reports where half of the scope is inside in the ureter then you have to make a nick in the ureter take out slowly holding the ureter and taking it out big nuisance so be careful sometimes optic bundle damage when your day is not good you have taken a case where high bladder neck is there or in children or you are negotiating with dil pe leke you are negotiating in the inferior calyx i will do suddenly in one minute hundred and spots will form see tuck 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 spots are forming in front of your eyes spots if you don't observe your assistant tell sir spots are forming please stop otherwise you will be seeing only the stone 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 and ultimately you will break the scope and you will not break the stone so be careful you should not try too much beyond your limit any case which is difficult for rirs is easy for pcnl now coming to the uh, immediate post operative complications infective complications i am not going in detail because it's a theory everybody should have their own protocols i after taking steroid in my hospital infection rate has come down but when i was doing with chemical sterilization also if you do more than four four, four cases infection more less than two cases good if you have two two scopes less infection if you have a good technician who cleans less infection if you have infection only antibiotic answer if you have bleeding you have uh, uh, blood you can give more blood if you have antibiotics are only two three like i will give ceftriaxone after that i will go to amikacin after that i will go to piperacillin tazobactam after that i will go to meropenem after that i will pray the god in the house please save doing tlc every day and observing you can't remove the kidney because kidney will be very good even if you do pcnl it will not be useful because it's already gone into the system so for sepsis is a different topic because i am particularly concentrating on surgical methods now i focused on this there are lot of papers lot of discussions you take care of the sterilization well technically you should be good don't show your ego for large stones do pcnl and happily go home and uh, in in case where stone you can do with rirs easily stage it uh, uh, one hour you keep maximum time thank you very much thank you for giving this opportunity uh, all these complications editing is because of my team 
obviously i should be thankful to my team apart from entire people who are watching be safe at your home uh, don't uh, um, give shake hands and don't go close to any person let us fight against coronavirus should we should coronation of the coronavirus thank you